Okay, so what we have here is a pile of rusty chain and a whole bunch of rust removal solutions. And we're gonna see which one works the best. Okay, first off, I am not a scientist. I don't even play one on TV. We're just gonna see what works. I'm just a, a guy in his garage. Well, let me rephrase that. I'm a guy in his wife's dining room, so don't tell her. Hopefully I can have this thing done before she gets home. So guys, like I said, I have a pile of chain and a whole bunch of solutions. So let's look at the ones we have. So the first contestant we have is just normal, everyday white vinegar you buy it at the grocery store. Second is we have its angrier cousin, 30% vinegar, which you buy at a hardware store, which is six times more powerful than standard vinegar. Next is the Works Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Yes, I said the Works Toilet Bowl Cleaner. It works. I don't know what it does, how it does it, but it's got some kind of acid in it that eats away rust. Next is Evapor Rust. Then uh, Blasters Metal Rescue Rust Remover uh, Bath. Safe on everything except rust. And then uh, Rust Dissolver from Rust-Oleum. This one says it works in 30 minutes. We'll be the judge of that. But the good thing about these last three is they are reusable. So like I said, I've, I've been using uh, Evapor Rust for a while and those last three are reusable. That's why they're in here. You may pay up a little bit more for them and we'll talk about the prices in just a moment. You may pay up a little bit more for them but you get multiple uses out of them. I just found this uh, Rust-Oleum the other day I saw it in a hardware store and it comes in these other applications this is a spray gel that's sticky and then this is uh, a jelly okay guys this is the an old gas tank from the one of the Honda Elites and I picked saw I went to the hardware store Home Depot and I saw this I said let me buy it and I just sprayed it on right here. You see this black section? I sprayed it on right there and it just kind of ran down to here. Then I hosed it off the next day. It was on for about 24 hours. Then the next day I was telling Carrie about it and I just shot some right here and let it sit. Hosed it off later and that's what it did. It's pretty crazy. This whole tank was like this. Let me put this light on to make it easier. Whole tank was like that and then look how clean that came out. So I'm a fan of this, this rust dissolver. I have never used this bath or I didn't use the jelly, but when I saw it, I said, let me just get them because you can just spray it on wherever it is on the bike and it sticks, which is awesome. So you can de-rust stuff without having to take it completely apart and stick it in a bath. I thought that, I thought that was exciting. And last but not least is we have a super washing soda and a battery charger. This is some witchcraft. You use electrolysis, you mix it with some water, like I did, you put it, you put it in the, the bucket, in the container, whatever container you're gonna use, and an anode. You connect the positive lead to the anode, the negative lead to part you want de-rusted, plug it in, Bob's your uncle. Okay, let me just set this, this up, let's pour all the solution in, and let's get to de-rusting. Okay, so I have everything in and set up. Battery charger is plugged in. You could hook the positive to the anode, negative to the other one. It's supposed to move the rust from here to there, so we'll see how that happens. Rust dissolver, rust oleum rust dissolver is green. And then all the way, this is the toilet bowl cleaner, the works. We'll just let it cook and see what happens. So the range and price of the solution, you know, the vinegar is going to be a couple dollars. The washing soda is going to be a couple dollars if you have a battery or a battery charger that'll work uh, to be able to do that. Uh, this vinegar is about $20. The 30% vinegar is about $20. Again, this is three or four bucks uh, for the Toll bowl cleaner and then all of these three are about the same price. They're in the 25-ish dollar range for a gallon 
So some of the some of the, the challenges with each one, right? I know that the vinegar, both of these, and the works, as soon after you finish, they're gonna start flash rusting rusting. As soon after it. I mean it's almost immediate. So it's up to you for whatever whatever your application is. I, I like a vapor rust, and I'm assuming that these two guys are going to perform similarly. So I like that because I can put it in the tank and, and, and clean it up, and I don't have to worry so much about the outside getting the, the paint and the finish getting messed up. So what I'm hoping to discover from this is that, since I like to use these over and over again, is that... Is there a way that we can layer these? So let's say if I'm cleaning a tank, which I'll be doing soon, uh, two of them. If I'm cleaning a tank, I typically pressure wash it first. So I get all the, the fuel out, all, anything varnish that's in there. I want to get as much of that stuff out before I start doing rust repair. Because if I start trying to do rust repair or, or removal on top of all that other stuff, this is not going to perform as well. So the cleaner I can get that, the better off it is. And if I can spend... Uh, five seven dollars on a, a couple of gallons of uh, let's say ten bucks on a couple of gallons of vinegar to fill the tank up all the way treat that for a day or so then come back with something like this so that it really cleans the tank out I don't have to worry about uh, flash rusting that's what I like about a vapor rust is as soon as I finish treating it I rinse it off and it, it almost like it puts a film over it. I know it doesn't, but somehow it cleans it up and it's, it's nice after. I don't have to worry about it flash rusting right away. We're going to let this cook. I should hit the start button so we can keep track of it. And I'll check back with you guys in a little while. Okay, we're 36 minutes in. Let's run down the list. The normal white vinegar. Not much activity. It's only been a half hour. The 30% vinegar. Doing a little bit better, you see the water starting to, the liquid starting to change color. Hard to see in this one, but if I lift it up, it looks like it's starting to, to get rid of some rust. This is the a vapor rust. Again, it's cooking, it's only been a half hour. You can see some of it down in the bottom. So, uh, the Metal Rescue from Blaster. Nothing yet, it's still only been a half hour this one is the one that has the most activity in the container that's the rust-oleum rust dissolver and uh, it is doing a pretty good job so far it's only been a half hour so we're gonna let it cook a little bit longer and the electrolysis is slow going but it'll get there it'll run down all of them one more time I'll put the light on it so you can see what's happening in there each one this is the 30 percent vinegar can't see anything in here this is the vapor rust this is the metal rescue and obviously this guy is doing the most so far it's in the lead you see the rust floating on top and then the Electrolysis is cooking. It's doing its what it should be doing. Okay, here we are. We're an hour and a half into it. This is the vinegar. The 30% vinegar. The works. You see everything is still cooking. So, But there's a couple of standouts. And I think the standout so far, this guy looks really good. We're going to rinse it off and then get a closer look at it that guy looks really good and this guy looks really good okay so this is the rust dissolver right here i'm going to go ahead and pull it out and put it in this bucket of water i have right here look that looks pretty good we haven't done anything to it but just you saw it just it looks, it's moving. The chain was stiff before. It's moving around. Looks pretty good. Again, just rinsing it off and drying it. Now that's the rust dissolver. But the toilet bowl cleaner, look at this for the wind. I mean, geez, and Pete, 
an hour and a half, 90, 90 minutes. And this is cleaning up pretty good. One from Rusty. It's clean. I haven't brushed it or anything. This is the uh, toilet bowl cleaner. This is the rust dissolver. And again, we're only an hour, hour and a half into it. But these two look pretty good so far. Still some rust on the inside here. This one seems to have done the best. And this one being the rust dissolver, which we're going to go right back into there. There. And then we're going to go right back into here with the... Um, toilet bowl cleaners okay so the rust dissolver has the most action in the container if you look at it see down there I mean more than anything else these other ones are here but they're nowhere near the same activity okay guys we're gonna take these out of here and then lay them out then we'll look at them Let's go. We've been at this for almost four and a half hours. So it's a good enough sample size, I think. This is the vinegar. It did not do much to this. Again, we know that the vinegar is gonna take longer. This is only four hours. So cooking in vinegar, I mean, letting it sit longer, it'll live overnight, couple of days, three days, works perfect. I've done it in the past, so the same thing with, with this. You can see that it's starting to, to get it a little bit better than, than the, uh, the regular vinegar, but not there yet. Again, needs to take a little longer. This guy, on the other hand, the, look, look, you're, let me see this. Look, you can, you can see the, the metal through. It's cleaned up all the way over. And this is the, the toilet bowl cleaner. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so let's look. The Vapor Rust did a really good job. It's clean. You can see the, the defined line where it was and, and what it did. So it worked out really good. Chains loose all the way through. Not as clean as what the toilet bowl cleaner was, but good nonetheless. Then we moved to the Blaster Metal Rescue. This was probably the, the biggest disappointment. I shouldn't say disappointment, that's, that's a little harsh, but I kind of let a let down. Of the three um, expensive ones, if you will, you know, $25 solutions for a gallon, let's be clear, $25 solutions for a gallon, that was the one that probably did the, the least amount the chain is still super stiff. It's starting to clean it. You can see on the pins here, it's, it's starting to clean, but it's not there yet. It may just take longer. I mean, we did go four and a half hours. The next one, and I just stuck this thing back in, is the rust dissolver. It's, it's good. It did a really good job. I really I accidentally stuck it back in. It really did a good job. It's probably, between the rust dissolver, the vapor rust, and the works. Oh, let me just go through the last one. So it did a really good job all the way through this rust dissolver. And it was the, you could see it working. It wasn't just hoping it was working. You could see that it was working. And then the last one is the electrolysis. And the chain's loose. More if we just keep doing it, it would keep cooking and it would work. Okay, guys. So. When looking at all of these that we did, it's, uh, I think a couple of them stood out more than others. Probably the, the works, the uh, vapor rust, and then the rust dissolver, I think stood out ahead of the, the rest of them. Guys, I'm not saying that those are better than the other ones. You keep, if you keep cooking with vinegar, if you keep letting it sit, we only did four and a half hours. You do a couple of days, you'll probably get to the same solution. Right? 
you'll get to the same outcome. It all depends on what you're looking for. Based on what we did in the four and a half hours, which three or which products perform better than the others, then, then it's kind of clear, right? The rust dissolver, the vapor rust, and the works outworked everybody else. So figure out what works for you. You know, the, there's some, some uh, give and take for each one. I know the works, you're gonna have to, you'll end up with some flash rust right away, so you're gonna have to take care of that, and make sure it's good. Uh, evapor rust tends to not flash rust right away, and you can reuse it, which is a, a plus. Uh, rust dissolver, I haven't read anything that says you can reuse it, so that would be kind of a, a toss up between this one and this one. All right, if I get to reuse this again, then it's not 25 bucks, it, it's a little bit less per, per application. So figure out what works for you. Interesting outcome. Who would have known? Who would have thought toilet bowl cleaner would be there? Let me know what your go-to rust removal solutions are. I'd be curious to find out. All right, let me know what they are, especially if we haven't done them here and if there's something else that, uh, that works better, I'd love to use it. Okay guys, I have to wrap up this video because I had to move into the, the kitchen with this and I've got to get all this stuff cleaned up before Carrie gets home so she uh, doesn't know I did this. I want to thank you for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're in the subscribing mood, just wander on over to our friends. Brickhouse Builds, Gold Guy, Moto Mango, Ace Cafe Bikes, Mile Zero Racers, Plan B Motos, Pete's Classic Cycle, and Lady Moto Bang. And give those guys a subscribe too. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.